Well, we're pleased to say that uh, Ryland and Claude join us now. So we'll okay. come to, to that, because obviously I'm not going to ask you, I don't want you to tell me whether or not you get it, because that's great for the show. But you say, looking at that, seem to be enjoying yourself, worst three days of your life. Awful. Why? Oh, it was so difficult. I, and you know, I love The Apprentice. I watch it every single year. I've had friends that have been on The Verge, at the, the Apprentice as well, and they've always said it's really, really difficult. And when I watch it at home, and I'm sure a lot of people do as well, you'll sit there, and I know Claude's heard this many a time, and people will go, I could do that. I could do that. Well, just throw this together, lovely. Like, brand a product, great. But when you go into that process, it's very, very difficult. So what very was the difficult. task? So the task was we had to put on a cabaret evening, an auction, to raise money, obviously, for Comic Relief. I mean, this is relief. right up your street. Perfect. This is what you do. Perfect. You should be the expert. Oh, completely. But... Expert, number one. But it's The Apprentice. So <laughs> Why was it hard? It's just, it's just a really, really difficult process because it's not like you've got a, a week or so to make a few calls, get some people together. We had to do this in 48 hours, wasn't it? Well, pretty much 24 mm. when you really, really think about it. So we started on, say, morning one. Yeah. And the event was night two. So you had so, the two teams, didn't you? It was yeah. boys versus girls. So how, how were the girls then? They were because fantastic. Were Honestly, they really? I mean, normally I'm not very complimentary about the candidates. Yes. But this lot were absolutely sensational. Oh, well, brilliant. They, they were. They were brilliant. And, and so they why did they impress these... you so much? Well, first of all, they've got contact list, which is second to none, obviously. Yeah. Um, and they used their contacts and they did really well. And they all had a role to play. Now, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of mistakes that typically apprentices make, like yeah. selling tickets too cheaply and things like that. So they make all the kind of normal mistakes, but actually they worked so cleverly and so well together. It was a pleasure. Well, they are Amanda Holden, uh, Ida Williams, Ahmed Jalili, Richard Arnold, Ryland here, uh, Russell Kane, football legend Sam Allardyce. Um... You say Ryland here, but he was almost not there, really. Really? Why wasn't he there? Well, I, I mean, what did you uh, hear from Karen? <laughs> well, yeah, what did you hear yes. from Karen? Well, basically, I can't tell. I can't say too much. I've not seen Ryland anything was anymore. the weak link. That, that's <laughs> that's it. That's what I can tell you. Oh. I hope that's not sort of spoiler. That but... can't be true. Not our Ryland. Uh, Claude, come on. Because you were come the manager, on. weren't you? I can't you? be persuaded to say anything more. Not I, the manager, you were I the team... I can say, yeah, I was project manager. You were project, project manager. manager. Did you volunteer for that? Um, it was a bit of both. Yeah. It was a bit, yeah. Kelly you know, Hoppen this... put herself forward, didn't Well, she? I'm not surprised. Kelly Hoppen loves it. But <laughs> she... <laughs> it, it was a bit, um... Oh, yeah, I, like, I enjoy all these things. OK, boom. So it just happened. So... It's quite difficult, I guess. So if you're you're meant to be expected to sort of open up your little black book of contacts. This this was what my biggest problem was because you've you, got no you, friends. Yes, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. But you guys know me. When I finish my job, I go home, get a tracksuit on, and watch Birds of a Feather. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't go out. I'm not really celebi or anything like that. So when it comes to my phone, unless it's like my mum or Dan, I don't know what to do. So, yeah, to try and call on these contacts, it, is, it, it was quite difficult. Well, the girls, obviously, I mean, you, look, you sort of think, if you're looking for someone and whether or not you get share or not, we'll wait and see. But I do, yeah. uh, you know, I do, uh, you know, Robbie's in the phone. <laughs> I mean, what? it looks very competitive between you all. It did get quite competitive, yes, it didn't was. it, Claude? Yes, absolutely. But I think the girls really had a somewhat of an advantage because what they do... And hey, I was... Can we stop with, like, the girl love here? Yeah. No, I'm just telling you the truth, you know what I mean? It's true. Um, is they could pick up the phone to I don't know who and say, oh, babe, oh, babe, can I have £20,000, babe? And the answer would be yes. And I'm thinking, <laughs> well, who do they phone? I mean, it was just, it was remarkable. So, so they were able to do it. Really wild Listen, way. I mean, the said ultimate also... winner is Red Nose Day, so that's yes, all, all exactly. good. You were saying it's the most fun you've had with your clothes on. Well, maybe I exaggerated a little bit, but uh, it, was, <laughs> it really was. Whereas The Apprentice, the, the normal apprentice, is a bit of a marathon, and it's heavy going, and it's every single day relentless. This was like a sprint, really, so you had two days mm. in which to pull it off. And I think it's remarkable the way that both teams actually pulled it off. It, it is incredible what they ended up with. It was, was, it was amazing. It was really, a really great experience as well. And a lot of money was raised for comedy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it.